Hey y'all, I'm Anita, and today I'll be teaching you how to get engaged at your hackathon. To introduce myself, I am the outgoing co-president for NW+, the team behind NW Hacks, Command F, and UBC Local Hack Day here in Vancouver, BC, Canada. If you remember me from last year, I did a lightning talk on documentation, and you can check it out on the short link here. Here's a picture of my beautiful team. So I hope you didn't think we were actually putting a ring on it at your hackathon, although nobody's stopping you. But for now, let's go over what engagement is with respect to hackathons. Engagement is the degree of which attendees are captivated by and participating in your event. Sure, letting attendees hack and eat free food is important, but what happens outside of the hacking can make a huge difference on how attendees experience and take away from the event. We like to call this hacker experience. Since hackathons are quite literally 24-hour coding competitions, the first thing we want from good engagement is to provide opportunities for hackers to take their mind off coding and de-stress. As we welcome a huge variety of people from different backgrounds and skill levels, it's important that our initiatives create a welcoming and inclusive environment. And for people to want to come back to your hackathon next year, you want to give them experiences to remember. So in short, good engagement should be easy for hackers to participate in, have variety, and are fun. And now I'll go over some examples of initiatives that NW Plus introduced to enhance the hacker experience at our events. Workshops at hackathons are usually about learning tech and tools, but you can actually make these as diverse as you want, both in skill level and content. For example, we've hosted workshops on professional development, resume reviewing, self-defense, and even one on acapella, hosted by yours truly. A problem we used to have in our events was that hackers would never check the Slack workspace for announcements. So we introduced a thing called Slack Contest to solve that. It's a Slack channel where we post challenges and trivia questions every hour for hackers to compete for prizes. And it's actually become so successful that it is a staple at all of our hackathons now. At a big hackathon, it's easy to feel like one in hundreds. So we launched a Hacker Spotlight initiative inspired by Humans of New York, where an organizer would walk around the venue asking people to share their stories that get featured in a live feed throughout the event. We found that it really helped people's imposter syndrome when they learned that their fellow hackers came from all sorts of backgrounds as well. Then there's everything else that doesn't fall under your typical activity or workshop. These can be simple activities that you set up in the venue, like an inspirational message wall or a ping pong table. Or it can be literally anything random and fun that comes to mind. For example, we had organizers going around challenging hackers to eat spicy chips or toss rings over like a moose antler hat. While I just went over hacker-focused engagement, we need to remember sponsors as well. Sponsors are the reason why your hackathon is able to run in the first place, so it's important that they have a great sponsor experience as well. As most people should know, companies sponsor hackathons because they usually want to either build brand awareness, recruit students, and increase their product consumption, amongst others. And facilitating engagement between sponsors and hackers is key to achieving all of those. So to start, when hackers think about sponsors at hackathons, the first thing they imagine is sponsor booths, since that's the most common place to find them. We started a stamp card initiative where hackers get stamped at every booth they interact with to be entered for a prize. This makes the process more fun while ensuring that all sponsor booths get some love. Another way to direct hackers to a booth is to work with and encourage sponsors to set up their own mini activities. In the past, this has included their own photo booth, paper plane flying contests, Jenga station, and even a Smash tournament. For both sponsors and hackers alike, sometimes one of the most effective ways to engage with attendees is with our own presence. I know organizers are probably exhausted from handling the day's logistics, but interacting with attendees puts a face behind the hackathon, and I can assure you that many attendees are interested in learning more about us. This include personally delivering snacks, starting conversations, or even making dance TikToks with them. So now that you have all these ideas, Ways to measure and quantify the hacker experience at your event can include things like event attrition, activity and workshop attendance, number of projects submitted, amongst others on this list. And to repeat, good engagement initiatives should be easy to participate in, have variety, and are fun. You already did a great job marketing and getting your target check-ins for your hackathon, but now we need engagement for attendees to stay, enjoy every bit of the weekend, and leave your event excited to tell all their friends and be ready for the next event you host. Hacker experience sets apart a great hackathon from a good one. And with that, 
Let's get engaged. Thanks for listening to my talk. If you want to chat more about all things engagement, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn, email, or Medium, or check out NW Plus's events for this year. I promise they'll be a blast. Thank you. Thank you.